this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! Let's keep on exploring this cave to find that silver key. I think I'm just going to start editing out more battles at this point. We're almost at the end here. Let's see what's in this chest. Wing of the Wyvern. It's the same as the return spell. Uh, in this game, it returns you to whichever king you saved at last. That's something to keep in mind there. Might want to hold on to that. I might sell it. I'll think about it. And we get some gold. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Oh, here's a new enemy. Centipod. Uh, they have very high physical defense. So what you want to do against them is use Fireball on them. So, Or you could just have Loto attack twice there. But I like using Fireball. Ooh, leather armor. We could sell that for a pretty penny there. All right. Well, there's only one more place to go. At least the room transitions make it easy for me to know when I'm going to get into a random battle. Sometimes. Now, this is the last chest in the cave here, and it does indeed contain the silver key. Oh! Um, but I'm full on items. Huh. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess get rid of a medical herb. Did I have anything more useless to get rid of? No. No, not really. I just had a ton of medical herbs. Okay, so anyway, we got the silver key now. has infinite uses, so what I'm going to do is... I've got plenty of MP. This is not going to be a dangerous trip out of here, so... Otherwise, I might actually show that on screen, so... Um, you know, let's put the silver key to use. I'll just meet you back at Middenhall there. Alright, we've made it back to Middenhall, so... Let's put that silver key to use. Got those silver doors, so... Let's just use that there. Alright. Hey, how's it going? Oh! Yeah, what they mean by that is... It's kind of like the dragon scale in the last game. Except in this game, it cuts... I, I've heard it cuts the effectiveness of stop spell and sleep on you by 50%. Which is actually pretty damn good in this game. So, I really like that. Uh, by the way, I sold that Wing of the Wyvern. Uh, I looked, at, looked it up. Uh, I won't need it, so don't worry. I, I looked it up in my notes. Now, this is an interesting line here, because uh, what the hell does that mean? Now, I don't know. Uh, apparently, from what I heard from the translation guide on GameFAQs, uh, she says, you are still a child, but if it's too like unbearable, you can return home at any time, or something like that. But he even told me, I was talk. I think I talked to him once about this in a previous episode somewhere. Uh, he was saying something like, even just translating it directly from Japanese to English was kind of tricky there, too. It was like, uh, it, it was just a hard line to translate or something. So, even he doesn't really know what he was saying, I think. So, but, whatever. Maybe, uh, if you look in the comments section, maybe he'll say something. But anyway, we can go into this prison here, and I want to talk to this guy. If he'll ever get over here. Come on. Move to the right. To the right. Come here! Okay, fast forward. Come on. No! No! Don't go that way! Down. Down, boy! Down, boy! Come on. Down. No. No. Down. Right. Down. Right. Up. Right! Right! probably going to be more annoying than anything else in the game. There we go. Got it. Uh, no. Well, screw you! You made me wait around for 30 seconds for that? Oh, well, I don't have the Jailer's Key. So anyway, that's the third kind of door in the game, the Jailer's Key. So we got the Silver Key, we got to get the Golden and Jailer's Key, so... Okay, well that's everything we can do here, so let's head on over to Leftwind then. Alright, we've made it over to Leftwind here. There's only one door that we can really open here, but there's one other important thing that I want to do while I'm here. We want to buy a magic knife for later. We don't want it right now, but we can't buy it later, so I'm just buying it in advance. Let's see, I've got one more slot open. Excellent. So let's open this door and see what's behind. Oh, another shop here. Oh, it's the lottery! Sure. Um, sure, how do you play the game? But anyway, it's like, uh, what is it? A slot machine. There we go. So, yeah, you can win different prizes. A golden card, 
Um, I think it reduces the price of everything by 25% if it's in your inventory, something like that. With its ring, you can use it to restore your MP, and MP restoration is at a premium in this game. So, that could be good too. Um, let's see, you can win a wizard's wand if you get three stars, I think, so that's pretty good. So let's see how well I do today. Eh, not so good, huh? Oh, well. Okay. I guess Friday the 13th really is my unlucky day. Okay, well that's everything we can do here, so let's move on with the game. Now that we actually have another party member, we can move on to Moonbrook. And kill a mouse, why not? I'm not gonna edit out a five second battle there. But yeah, let's go to that monolith that I went to earlier that they wouldn't let me pass through for some reason. Even though I'm a prince. Now, pretty much for the remainder of the episode, I'm gonna be showing most of the random battles because the enemies get a lot, well, maybe not a lot harder, but they will soon. So, if you go to the left, it's just a fake exit, so. Don't go there. Go down here instead. Hug the walls. Show the walls you care, viewers. Oh. No battles. Oh. There we go. Yeah, the left path there would have taken you to that little island over there, but there's no point. And we got a couple babbles here. Metabbles? No. No, just ordinary babbles. We'll, uh, we'll be seeing... Well, yeah, we do see them later in this game. I was thinking of another metal monster that we don't get until the next game, or the game after that. Yeah, yeah, the game after that, Dragon Warrior 4. And here's some new enemies. Oh, well, this one's going to be pretty easy then. Uh, zombies are a annoying kind of enemy. They have uh, up to 60 HP, so that can be quite a lot to deal with. But they don't have a whole lot of defense. Sometimes when they show up in groups, though, they'll defend themselves and cut physical damage in half. So you may want to use Fireball against them, especially if you run into groups of them. So, ah, there's the next town. Well, that trip was enormously easier than I thought it would be. Oh, well, there we are. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely, definitely, definitely want to rest up here. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Oh, what does that mean? I don't know what that means, viewers. Maybe that's another mistranslated line or something. Huh, remember that line for later, viewers. Appearances may not reflect the true person. Hmm, okay. Oh, you know what? I think there's someone I missed. Eh, whatever. The cloak of Wind, huh? Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and there's Moonbrook. Okay, well, let's see if we can find the princess there. Uh, I just wanted to talk to this guy again. No, he does not tell us where the tower is. Maybe someone else does. Oh, yeah, from a random battle, one thing I want to do. Uh, let's see here. Oh, no, it's not there. Hmm, I thought I won something that wasn't so useful. Ah, there we go. Okay, the club, yes. Now, one thing that I want to do also, though, before moving on... When we're going to go to Moonbrook now, I want to have up to six medical herbs and one antidote herb. So let's see, Lodo has four... Okay, there's six. So, yeah, we're pretty full on stuff. They got some really good equipment here. Do I have enough money for anything? Well, I could get the spear for the prince, but uh, no, no, I don't want to do that right now. So we'll pass on that for now. Uh, not anymore. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, and here's probably where you're supposed to uh, find the lottery the first time, but there you go. Sure. Huh. <laughs> Gotta discourage the gambling there a bit, huh? Now let's see. If we walk to the left here... I was saying I missed someone earlier. You can find a secret soldier! Alright. Oh, everyone was sacked, huh? Nuts. You know where the princess is? Eh, whatever. Does this dog have any insight? No, I get- Hey! Hey! Stop following me! Stop chasing me! Why is that dog following me? But anyway, yeah, there's other people in this game that you can save your game with. So, if you're new to the game, well, obviously you want to save here, 
but uh, you may want to have held on to that wing of the wyvern because this next part is pretty hard. So, okay, well that's everything we can do here. So I just want to take a quick pause break and then we'll head on over to Moonbrook. Okay, let's move along then. Now you gotta be careful around this bridge. No battle, no battle. Whew, okay, because when you're going around that bridge, you enter into a very, very, very hard enemy domain where you can run into baboons. There's no dog, but there's a baboon and they will kill you. They are very hard to kill at this point in the game, so. Fortunately, I have maps telling me where exactly the baboons like to hang out. So I'm just going to go all the way around them. So I'm going to help you out with this one, viewers. So basically, what you want to do is just walk around like the river, like that, then head straight west until you hit the desert, go straight south, and that should take us to Moonbrook, or reasonably close to it. Uh, let's see. Oh, new enemy, Magidrakis. Uh, basically, they all they do is cast Defense. It's a new spell in the game. It's like the uh, D-Brave spell in uh, Final Fantasy XIII. It reduces your defense. So, or not D-Brave. Uh, what is it called? The one that reduces your defense. Do they have a spell that reduces your defense? D-Protect. That's it. That's the one. So, yeah, you could use... It's like that. But they call it Defense for some reason. I don't know. Why'd they build their castle in the middle of a swamp there? Not a very good plan. Um, hmm. Let's start with this and we'll go from there. Because if I don't kill those Magidrakis, uh, they'll cast defense and the centipods will deal a whole lot more damage to me. That's not very good. Not very good at all, viewers. You want to save your uh, medical herbs for the castle there. I think it's a pretty bad idea to build a castle in a swamp. I mean, wouldn't it sink in there? Of course, maybe they've rebuilt it a few times. Ow. How much damage do I take per step? Okay, I got 43. Two damage per step? Holy cow. How are we doing there? Yeah, I don't want my HP dropping below 25. So, gotta be careful there. But anyway, we can talk to these flames here. Help! Horgon is gonna destroy us all! Yeah, they're ghosts, I guess, of all the soldiers, and they're freaking out. Ooh, metal slimes. Can I kill one? We'll find out today! No, probably not. But I might as well show you. Uh, basically, they have really high defense, but they give a whole lot of experience. Uh, they're actually pretty good in this game compared to Dragon Warrior 1! Hey, how's it going, dude? Oh! Well, at least, well, you're a ghost now. Oh, so, okay. So, she's a dog. What do you want me to do about it? Well, let's investigate some more. Uh, those chests are empty, I'll just tell you right now. Let's see, go over here. Oh, hmm. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. I don't know why we would need a mirror, but, well, I guess to... You know, notice my own good looks. Crap. Oh, metal slimes. You can run into large groups of zombies here, which will kill you if you're not careful. Okay, uh, now is the time to use those medical herbs. So, use one on Loto there. Use one on Orpheo there, because these, you want to walk all the way around here. I suppose you don't have to. Okay, do that again. Whew. Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked by the scenery. The scenery is the most dangerous part of this castle. Well, maybe, maybe not. Wow, they really tore up this place, huh? Is the princess down here? No, no. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I heard about that. Huh, okay. But can I survive to find the Mirror of Ra? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.